hi guys welcome back to another vlog i hope everybody's doing well so i just wanted to start off this vlog with a new bag that i think you guys will be really interested in seeing Firstly, this vlog is all about getting ready for autumn so i do my autumn winter wardrobe switch over but also like a huge clear out but we will get on to that i will show you the bag first my new bag is the coach bandit bag um this is one of the most versatile bags that i've come across recently i do have a discount code for you which i'll pop on the screen this is so versatile it has this strap on the top uh, which firstly is adjustable so you can make it long or short and have it cross body like that or you can kind of pull the strap through like that and have it as a shoulder bag i'll show it in the mirror in a second because this is really annoying um or you can just carry it from the top handle like this or you could take the strap off all together and use it as a clutch bag obviously it is a designer bag so it's absolutely amazing quality it's in a couple of colors i think it comes in like a um kind of like a mauve color a cream and a black so i've gone for black just because i feel like i have more like creamy bags in my wardrobe already it also has a gold hardware which i really love because it pulls out all of the gold in my jewelry and then inside is like a tan leather lining which i think is really nice it has this front compartment here which you can see um it's like a thin one that you could put i don't know like your phone or something in uh but what i also really like is that it's got like its own wallet in the back so you can put i don't know whatever you want to put in there like change <laughs> tampons like anything that you just want secure in your bag uh, which i really really like I love a bag with that good organisation and it's not just like chuck everything in one. I'm going to show you with my outfit that I've got on. I've got a new skirt on from Zara which I think you're going to really like. So I'm going to just go to the mirror and show you it all together. Okay this is the bag on as a crossbody and then I've just started with the slip skirt and these boots which are from All Soul last year. If they've still got them I'll link them. They're by Ash um, and they're just I really really like them. So yeah this is the bag as crossbody which i think really suits this outfit it's nice to kind of break it up but if you wanted to if you wanted to you could also wear it as a shoulder bag like this um it sits really comfortably there's loads of room so even if i had like a big coat on it still would sit there or maybe if you wanted to dress it up a little bit i think it's more dressy to hold bags by the handle so i just think that kind of switches it into an evening bag really nicely so yeah, I will link the bag down below in the description box and I'll also put the discount code on the screen for you. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the vlog. Today I'm going to do the wardrobe switch over and also I need like an almighty clear out. It's been months since I had a clear out. My wardrobe is this here. So I feel like most people who are in my job have some sort of like walk-in wardrobe situation. I don't. I have a very normal wardrobe size um to fit an awful lot of stuff so that means i need to have clear outs quite often also this isn't open properly because i've put a chest of drawers there now and uh, anyway i think you need to be a bit closer you can't really see what's going on can you okay i think i think this is a bit better um so yeah my aim for today is obviously get the summer bits out of the wardrobe because it's now mid-september so i'm not going to be wearing like all these dresses and stuff but i think next week is actually a bit warm so i'm going to keep some like transitional bits in there but um yeah mostly autumn winter and also i need to get rid of a lot of like my knitwear and like the bits that are just like i don't know how to explain it but not not good quality not long lasting just naff not naff i can't explain i really want to just like get down to that like capsule wardrobe keep it quite minimal and i think i'll get more inspiration that way when i'm not opening my wardrobe doors and faced with all of these pieces that don't go with each other i just want minimal you know like blazers shirts trousers jeans leather trousers and knitwear I'm quite good at in the winter just sticking to my basics and buying things that I'm gonna wear but in the summer I make some odd choices I buy for occasions which I don't do in the winter in the winter I, I don't buy something for a certain event but in the summer I do it a lot and I don't know why I think maybe because like dresses are like cheaper 
so you can buy like a 30 quid dress from Zara and you wear it once you don't wear it again and it's stupid slap on the wrist <laughs> that is not what I preach at all I'm gonna practice what I preach and get rid of loads of stuff so anyway I think let's just get started let's get started with getting rid of the things that I no longer want I have a big Ikea bag bag it's already got quite a few bits in it actually that I just added in there but anything I don't want I'm putting in there and it's going to charity by the way I don't have time at all to be doing like Vinted or Depop at the moment normally I would um but yeah this is just going to go straight to charity I just haven't got the time or the energy being almost 30 weeks pregnant there's things that I do like but if I haven't worn them this season I'm not taking them into next season it's just stupid all of my hangers I'm just going to put in a pile on the bed labels on I think it's worth noting almost every single piece that I'm getting rid of is Zara I, I buy in Zara, I like the things in there, but do I wear them? No, I don't. I need to stop shopping in Zara. I made a pile of charity shop bits from the summer, and now I'm going to pull out all of the summer bits that need to go under my bed, because when I do the season switchover, I've got an ottoman bed, and I just store the other season all under there. So once that's all in a pile, I can pull out winter and start putting that away, and summer can go in. This is not a job for a pregnant woman. I'm out of breath already, my back hurts, but I need to do it, let's get on with it. I feel like once this is done, I'm going to have a whole new lease of wardrobe. Okay, summer is completely gone out of the wardrobe. I don't know whether to keep that. I don't know, I don't think I ever wear it. I'm going to, I'm going to get rid. Or maybe I'll put it away for summer, it's quite summery, isn't it? Yeah, that's a summer blade. So this pile here is to go under my bed. This is all of the stuff that's come out. That's actually so much. Uh, and this is the charity shop bag. So actually not as much as I thought. But I do need to go through like my winter bits. Some of it I won't put in the wardrobe. Some of it can go to charity. Um, I'm going to do the fun bit now. I'm go through and make this organised. Ready to add in some more bits. The way I'm going to organise it is put trench coats right in the corner over there. Then blazers. And then I'm going to do, I think, knitwear next, then shirts, then trousers, and I'm going to have them all in sections, and it has to stay that way. I, I saw a tip, um, I can't remember where, like someone had like an, a wardrobe like organiser come to their house, and she said, don't put everything that's the same colour next to each other, because it's really difficult to see what's what. Um, and I'm hoping um, that when it's all like in its sections, I'll be able to see like what I'm missing um, and what I have way too many of. I think I'll find I have way too much beige knitwear. I'm already aware of that. I'm gonna do a clear out of that in a sec. But let's organize. So, oh yeah, I have leather jackets, but trench coats, I've got quite a few trench coats actually. So, but they're all different. So I've got my crop, Cos one, I mean Arquette one, my longer Cos one, and then this Topshop coat is literally one of my all time favourite things and I've had it for about five years, uh, but it's just the best. So those are my three favourite trench coats that I definitely want to keep. This wardrobe, I know it looks tiny, but it does actually go quite far back into there. And then I've got my All Saints leather jacket, which I bought on Black Friday last year. So I'm definitely going to keep that. It's annoying me how it's on the wrong hanger. I'm going to keep all of my hangers as these velvet ones because they're really thin and you can fit way more in when they're all those ones. They're from Primark. They're really reasonably um, priced and they seem to be nice and strong and sturdy so yeah all saints leather jacket this is my oversized uh h&m biker jacket which i think is really cool um and i wear that quite a lot as well
Okay, that's all my blazers um, all lined up. I think that looks really nice. It's really satisfying. Um, and then back there is trench coats. Actually, I have got um, this second female trench coat. It's more of like a duster coat, actually, but I really like it. Although, I got bleach on the shoulder somehow. I think I must have been cleaning inside the wardrobe when that happened, which is a shame. But um, I absolutely love this coat. a lot um i didn't realize how much stuff i had just got rid of but it must be a lot so handbags in that storage it looks a mess but it's not um these are like shoes that i don't want to just stuff in my shoe rack because i don't want them to get damaged like these are new and obviously the gucci loafers will be easily scratched so i leave them there then bags that don't fit in there these two cushions used to be on the bed um which is now the nursery but I don't want to chuck them away because I'll use them when we move into another house that has another bedroom. So that's what's going on in there. And then obviously what I've sorted um, is, yeah, it looks so much better. I'm really happy with that. I think I will do a knitwear clear out. But I'm just, I'm going to wait and see what I reach for. Um, obviously that's too much beige knitwear it's just stupid um but yeah i'm gonna wait and see what i reach for and then the things i don't wear can go to charity another day and then this is the pile of stuff to go to charity i'm gonna pop into bin bags now and then um put it by the door ready to go good morning i'm just throwing together a um tomato soup it is officially autumn like it's really chilly outside and i just love soup for lunch so um i'm just putting together a little tomato soup to have for my lunches for the next couple of days um my grandparents oh, why is that just turned off my grandparents have just gone away on holiday and they have loads of tomatoes growing in their garden so they gave me a load of them um I will never get through all of those, so I'm going to make them into a soup. So I'm just frying some onion and garlic in some olive oil. Turn that up. Um, and then I'm just going to leave it to simmer. Oh, what am I saying? Then I'm going to add the tomatoes. I've got a random pepper I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to put a tin of tomatoes in as well. Because um, I definitely don't have enough tomatoes here. These tomatoes look so good. I do love a tomato. Oh! Mix the pan. And then I'm going to use... I always use this in my soup. It's basically just vegan stock. Yeah, vegan stock powder. Um, but it's really nice to add just a bit flavor i'm going to put a rosemary sprig in which i'll take out before i blend it let's just get the 
flavour in there. I'm going to put a few chilli flakes in. Not many, just a tiny bit of a kick. With some salt. And, oh, very random, but just a bit of And I'll come back to that at lunchtime. What's the time now? Alexa, what's the time? 12 minutes past 10, so I'll leave that to simmer for about two, three hours before I eat it. I just got back from town. I've been to the pound shop at Marks and Spencers. My back is killing me. <laughs> Seriously, like that walking to town or like carrying anything or just like anything that requires standing causes like this bit of my back here to just be in absolute agony. Um, anyway, I'll show you what I picked up. Love a little pound shop or food shop call myself. Some people. <laughs> Would probably rather watch paint dry, but I think if you're the type to watch vlogs, you like this kind of thing. Anyway, <laughs> I bought, oh God, bananas, very green ones, because we do have um, a few, but we'll need some for later in the week. Um, I got some eggs, some raspberries to have with my Greek yogurt and granola or on top of porridge. Um, some spaghetti because um, we're having a bolognese later in the week. Uh, I thought I had no spaghetti, but I actually do. So. <laughs> oh, how's that happen? I know I'll open at both ends. Okay, I don't think I've got that I'll sleep there for the moment. Um, and then I got some. Bread in m &S. what did I go for? give or go for? Brewer's Malted Barley Cob. I do enjoy trying a different bread out. I've just finished a loaf of Polish bread. Um, I got it in Tesco, it was really nice. It was kind of like sourdough, I guess, but like smaller. Um, and then in the pound shop, I got some cotton pads. Um, I got some toothpaste. Have you noticed in the pound shop, barely anything is a pound? Like, how are they calling it? What is it, pound shop or pound land, one or the other? Um, and everything, nothing is a pound, nothing. Um, some Zaflora. I got the Linen Fresh one and Midnight Blooms. Um, I got some brunch bars. I love these to have with my cup of tea in the afternoon. And then, I don't know how these got in here. <laughs> I got Oreo chocolate, dime chocolate, and this one. Put them in the fridge because oh, if I don't have something sweet in the evenings nowadays, I'm getting very agitated. I've been, the last few days, resulting in having like either a bagel with Nutella or Cocoa Pops in the evening. I think, do you know what? You'd be better off just having a bit of chocolate because that's basically a whole bone breakfast but in the evening. So I've got some chocolate, so hopefully I won't eat that all at once. Hey guys, it's now Sunday. Um, Harry and I went shopping in Oxford yesterday. Um, I didn't vlog because my back is so bad, like walking around is such a struggle. Uh, let alone trying to vlog. Anyway, um, I'll do a mini haul of what I picked up. So, first thing I got is this tracksuit. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to pretend it's the nicest thing in the world, but um, it's from Uniqlo. I got it in a size extra large. All of my tracksuit bottoms have just, well, and tops have just got a bit 
um, snug on the bump now. So um, I wanted to get an XL one, but I didn't want to spend loads on like an Anine Bing one or anything. So I got this. Um, I can't remember how much it was. But I think it was about £50 for the top and the bottom. I'm just wearing it with a stripy t-shirt underneath. And I think it looks quite cute. I mean, I obviously look quite massive in it because it's not like figure hugging or anything um but yeah I really like it I might get another color because I can see myself just wearing this every day from here on out um and then I'll show you what else, show you what else I got so I got this oversized jumper from and other stories it's in a size large because I'm gonna wear it uh with just like a pair of black leggings and this covers like my bum and my bump and everything really nicely it's a lovely shape Um, I would try it on but my back hurts <laughs> so I'm not gonna but you can wait and I'll p definitely be posting this on my Instagram Um, if you follow me on there you'll see that but I will also link things down below and then also from other stories I got this jumper which is definitely something a bit different for me um, and when I picked it up, Harry literally looked at me like, what the hell? However, <laughs> it looks really, really nice on. Like, I really like it. It's a very boxy fit. Um, it's cool colours. I also got this in a large. Um, yeah, I just think it's really nice. Like, wear it with a pair of black leather leggings or black trousers. Um, I like it. I think I'll wear it with, like, with jeans as well when I'm not pregnant. And then... The last thing I got is these trainers. Um, I put up a poll on Instagram, like, do I get them or do I not? But I had actually bought them by the time I put the poll up. Um, I think these are really, really cool. So they're called the New Balance CT302. They're so comfortable. They come up quite small, by the way. I'm a size, like, 5 or, like, sometimes 4.5. And I had to get them in a 5.5. Um, they're like orthopedic. That's why they're just so comfortable. I don't know. I think they're really cool. So I got those two. Um, and that's everything that I bought. Anyway, um, I'm going to end the vlog here because I am now going to edit it and upload it for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in my next video.